The boy was buried under a cement for eight hours. When the doctor saw him for the first time, they were so shocked that it felt like they encountered the third Omwaji in your phone, except for his hands and head. The boy was completely wrapped in cement. In order to survive, he desperately begged the doctors for help, but they were at a loss, as they had never encountered such a situation before. On the sidelines, Fapola suggested using explosives to which would be the fastest way to rescue him. The boy was terrified to hear this. He thought it would be better to be killed directly. However, the doctors didn't recommend this approach. Instead, they turned to console the boy and that the cement was absorbing the moisture from his body. If he continued to cry, he would soon go bald. The obedient boy immediately stopped crying. Meanwhile, outside the house, his friends were laughing and chatting, showing no concern for the boy's condition. It was only after the doctor's inquiry that they found out these people had watched the boy being trapped for four hours before finally bringing him to the hospital. It turned out that the boy, in order to confess to Xiao Li, was provoked by other classmates and jumped into the cement, thinking he could win Xiao Li's heart. However, Xiao Li still refused him. In the four of us, we're friends, but uh, he's not really our not long after, the hospital dean came for rounds and saw that the boy hadn't received treatment yet. Angered, he stormed into the office to reprimand the doctors, questioning their conscience. If you don't treat him soon, the boy will be a goner. The doctors explained their dilemma, saying they didn't know where to start. After some thought, the dean pointed out that the boy had been trapped for 10 hours already, and his body was rapidly losing moisture. He suggested starting with the simplest method to remove the cement. The doctors obediently brought hammers and started hammering away at the cement. <laughs> Not long after, one of the boy's hands emerged. The doctors immediately poured olive oil inside, because it could reduce the burns caused by the cement on the skin. After continuous hammering for two hours, the boy's legs also became visible. However, the doctors noticed that there was something abnormal about the boy's legs. 